everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be building my girlfriend's first mountain bike. You can open your eyes now. Oh, wow. My girlfriend recently told me that she wants to try out mountain biking, but we don't want to spend a lot of money, at least in the beginning. So there are really two options here. First, we can either buy a used bike, which I already have a video about sharing a few tips and tricks of how you can find a cheap deal. Or the second option will be actually building a bike from scratch. So building a bike from scratch is far more time consuming you would say and you're probably correct but not if you find a deal like this. Ta -da! What we have here is a specialized Mika bike that I found in my local area. As you can see, it's missing some parts. Others are basically not working. There is some rust, but I think this bike has a lot of potential. The woman I got it from actually also had the desire to start mountain biking. She bought some nice tires, went for a few rides, until one evening Somebody stole the brakes, grips and the saddle from her bike. She was pretty much heartbroken. However, soon after she moved on, she had her first child and she didn't have time anymore for mountain biking. So she listed this bike for sale. Anyways, enough talking, let's go to the bench and see what parts we prepare for this bike. So me and my girlfriend have been doing some short rides on the road and before I started this project she had a few requirements in mind. She wanted good brakes as she found it very hard to stop when going down a hill using some old cable brakes. She also asked for good comfortable grips. On the other hand, as I showed you, the, the forks don't really work so we need to change them as well. So I went and looked into my old parts drawer and managed to find these. So these are some Tektro XLC rear brake which has a good amount of uh, pad life left into it it will be a good fit for the rear also a Shimano uh, hydraulic brake for the front uh, I also found this six pack walk-on grips which will be pretty secure and comfortable for her as we don't have a seat post and a saddle I found this uh, old seat post, it has some kind of a shock absorption built into it, so I think it will be pretty comfortable for her on the long rides. And I also had this uh, specialized seat post laying around. As I showed you, the forks don't really work, so I had this uh, RockShox XC in one of my last videos, I refreshed this fork and now it's uh, ready to go. It's a coil fork, has a lockout and rebound adjustment, which will be everything that she will really need for the beginning and last but not least I found this uh, nice bell that I think she will love so I'm gonna put this in as well before we start doing anything on the bike I'm gonna quickly go and wash it and then we can start tearing it apart So, the bike is clean now and I think we are ready to start working on it. However, I forgot to mention something. Uh, if, you, if you saw there is some rust on the chain and the drivetrain, but in my parts list there are no drivetrain components. And there is a reason for that. So, let me show you. First I have this uh, chainwear tool. So this is the... Uh, the 0 0.75 mark and if I put it here oops, doesn't even go in so this means that the chain is almost new it has a bit of rust on it as you can see in in a few spots so if I rotate the wheel here there is some rust but I think with a bit of sanding and a good oiling uh, this chain will be as good as new 
and also let me show you how good this bike shifts i'm pretty amazed on like it this bike has been sitting for a lot of time and if i go through the gears it's super quiet and it shifts quite fast as well even with the chain without any oil on it so that's why i think we're gonna keep the the chain and all the drive chain components as they are and this will be a pretty good starting point for her so first order of business will actually be removing the wheels so that we make the bike a bit to uh, take a bit less space and we can start fitting all these components that i got here Oops. So this is what I got off the bike. Basically we have here the headset, a few spacers and the handlebars. Uh, I'm gonna have to clean the, the headset a bit because um, you can see there is some old grease in it. So we're gonna clean it up, re-grease it and put it back on the bike. I also found a bracket for the rear brake and also some bolts that I'm gonna use to secure the the brake calipers. So I think we're almost ready. Let's clean this up and start putting the bike back together.
Okay, it is the next day, but I can see we are almost on the finishing line here. So yesterday we did quite a lot of things actually. We managed to put the fork on, the brakes on. I just have to clean up this mess of cables over here, loop the chain, put the wheels and tires on, and we will be more or less ready to hit the trails. So let's not, let's not waste any more time and get to work. The bike is almost ready. Not everything went to plan, but let me show you I made a few changes on the way. So yeah, these grips were not the ones that I wanted to put on the bike. Basically, the ones that we had, this end cap is just not the right one for these grips. And it doesn't go in any end of the handlebars. So we needed to change that. And if um, as I told you initially, this bike came with some good tires, so these are per gatory control. They look pretty nice, but um, it was the same tire on the front and on the back. I, I went and changed the back tire to some smaller one, so I, I got this uh, Continental mounting hang 2.2. Ideally what you want is more, more grip on the front and some smaller faster rolling tire on the back so now the only thing left is to clean and loop the chain so let's go back to work
and the bike is now done. The only thing left is to go get my girlfriend and show her the bike for the first time. I hope she likes it. Let's go. Just a little bit more, just to the right. Uh, be careful here. Go over. Okay. A bit to the right. And you can open your eyes now. So what do you think of it? I like it. You like it? I like the cover. <laughs> yeah, it's a girly cover, right? Yeah. So I got your helmet. <laughs> you can go for a quick spin and see how it feels. Just be careful with the brakes. Just these are some <laughs> powerful brakes here. Yeah. You only need two fingers. <laughs> Perfect size, right? <laughs> and that's pretty low. Yeah. I won't get hurt. Try the brakes. <laughs> that was pretty stuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. You won't have problems stopping now. No. Okay, give it a spin around here. Okay. Bye. They just stopped, right? Like immediately, like. You can try with one finger if you want. Okay. Just go straight here and. Oop. Oh wow. <laughs> Even. So much easier, right? And those are pretty nice. Which is nice? The grips? Yeah. More comfortable than before? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can I, can I, I knew she's gonna like the bell. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what were you saying? Can I yeah, go for it. Maybe get a bit more speed. So, first impressions compared to the previous bike, how does it feel? Much nicer. Like, it stops much better, the grips are nicer, it has more ring. I do, it's perfect size, like I won't get hurt again, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. And I like the cover. Like, great, yeah. I'm glad you like it. So yeah, this will conclude the video on building this bike. Hopefully in one of the next videos we're gonna go and explore some of the trails and hopefully she'll be able to do her first ever boot trail on, on this bike. <laughs> so yeah, if you like this video, consider subscribing. And again, all of you, please <laughs> wear at least a helmet. <laughs> Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.